This is what this is what I'm gonna get on to today. You gotta be careful up here crossing this pipe. They got that thing seated in. That joker's falling in. Falling right there down to the septic tank. Got it bedded in. But I'm gonna start right here and get on this side, fill this up, level this out. Got some stuff over there, but I'm not gonna worry about that today. My main focus is my main focus is gonna be this right here. Calling for a little bit of rain tonight. So we're gonna try to get this covered up for them before the rain gets. They put some risers on them tanks, so if they ever have to come back and pump them out, them things will be upgraded. They can just take them lids off right there and pump them bad boys out. And they got a pump. That's the pump tank right here that I'm standing on right here. And uh, it's got a probably a two inch line that I'm walking on right here that goes right behind the shed. And we've got to pump it up to the front where they had their uh, repair, septic tank field repair up in the front. Had to pump it a pretty good ways. But anyway, that's what I got going on today. I'm gonna set you guys up and come around here, level that out. I might level this up a little bit right here before I get going. I got two projects I'm gonna try to work on today. Uh, this one, take me a couple hours to work on this one. Then I got a great big old stump over there on another project I started late yesterday evening. Um, working on it. But, uh, let me set you up here and we'll see what we can get going on. All right, everybody. Hey, look right here. I've got that leveling bar on this little old SK-800. Um, I tell you what, I'm, I'm really liking this machine. Uh, I've said that in several videos. It, it's a it's a real handy machine. But but what I want to touch on is, is kind of grading and, and m moving dirt. And uh, what I'm doing right here, What only thing I'm doing is filling in those ditches and getting my dirt in place so I can I can start grading and cutting off high spots and filling in the low spots. And that leveling bar does a real good job. The power rake does the same thing, but but at, at this point here, I'm not ready for a, a power rake. We're not trying to do the finish grade on this. We just want to get it level and, and get it, you know, beat the rain on this, like I said in the video. But, uh, but another thing too, um, you, you bucket is a, is a tool that you want, you either want to cut something out, move it from one place to the other. You want to pick up your dirt, move it if you got to move it a long way. But right here, what I'm doing, I'm pushing. I'm, I'm, I'm just pushing that dirt. And then w what you're seeing right here is, is I'm just making it look pretty. I'm, I'm trying to get my tracks out, get my little wind rows, and just knock down. But the back dragging, um, I'm, I'm not grading back dragging. You, you, can't, you can't grade ground back dragging it and folks especially young guys they get on a piece of equipment and they'll go up to a pile of dirt and they'll put a, some dirt somewhere and then the first thing they do they'll roll that bucket over and they'll back drag that's not grading and um it, it's it, it's it's hard to learn how to, to grade because you got that bucket um that's digging in um and you, it's, it's digging you're trying to overcorrect and you get your washboards in there, what you know, what some people call it washboards, some people call it wompty womps, um, whoop de doos. Um, it's just all different different names for it, but but that's not really grading. What you want to be able to do is get your dirt loosened, rip it up, get it, get you some loose dirt, something to work with, so you can push it around and get that dirt level. And then you do your back drag and make it look pretty. That's what you you want to back drag your way out of, of something if you really want to pat it down, make it look nice. But uh, I remember my dad, me trying to learn how to run a, a dozer, and he said, "All right, boy," he said, "We don't want that fancy grading today." He said, "We just want it flat." He said, don't, "We'll do that fancy grading tomorrow." And uh, I'd always remember that when I wasn't about 13, 14 years old then. But uh, anyway, hope you like this video. Maybe these little tips might help you out. All right, folks. So I wrap on that one right there. We got this septic tank area back field. You got a downspout line coming out right there. That's where that water is right there. It's coming out in there. But 
Anyway, we've got something we can work with, bring the Harley rake. He's gonna get another skid steer over here and get those stumps out down in the bottom. Got some stuff over there on the other side over there. He's gotta revamp this whole backyard pretty much. Had a bunch of trees in here taken down. Had a great big old tree blow over right here. Hit his building. That's kind of what started this whole project, really. But anyhow, I'm gonna get on to the next one. I got a big stump over here. I gotta go grind. Got started on it yesterday afternoon. And uh, we're gonna go over here and see if we can whittle on it a little bit more. It's a, it's a monster stump. It's uh, It was a, a big old red oak. And that thing was, I don't know, it's probably four foot, but it was two trees together. And it just over the years, that thing, I guess where it was, it was a multi-trunk. The water just got in there and just rotted. And, and uh, one night, about seven months ago, that thing just split. Half of it went one way, the other half went the other way. And it was spread out pretty much. I believe they said it was about 280 feet across where that thing, one went one way, one went the other way. Went across two backyards fence to fence on two two back properties anyway i'm gonna get eat my lunch headed over that way and uh we'll check check with you guys in a little bit